Notice, by the way, it doesn't say came. It says has come. Read it again. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus uh, Christ has come in the flesh is from God. That tense means something, both in Greek and in English, different from came. If he had said he came in the flesh, it would sound kind of, that was a season. He entered into humanity, and there was a time when that was true of him, but not now. I got a letter from a significant church leader a few years ago that said he thought that was true about Jesus. <laughs> Just, that's, a, that's a heresy, man. Wrote him a long letter. Told him to take it off his website. Jesus Christ, the God-man, is united in perfect union with the second person of the Trinity forever. He didn't put on humanity like a hat for 33 years and then take it off and vanish into ghost land. When they saw him go, they saw him go and in like manner he will come again and eat fish with us forever. Humanity, mysterious as it seems, has been folded into the Godhead. He did not despise our flesh. Today, at this very moment, Jesus has a body that if you were there, you could touch with your hand. He has come in the flesh, and he is still in the flesh. The incarnation lasts forever. There'll never be a time when the second person of the Trinity does not have a human nature in perfect union with the divine.